What's up guys, it's Chase from Chase's Workshop and in this video I'm going to go over the new design of the board that I've done for the Pickup Winder 2.0, um, how I'm powering these nano boards now. Now if you haven't seen my second video in this series, I was trying to build a 5 uh, volt voltage regulator to bring the 12 volts down to 5 volts because I thought that's what the board needed to run on. and. Um, According to one of my subscribers, he said, you don't have to do that. You can just basically plug uh, the 12 volts straight into the board and it'll work fine. He was right. It works great. It's a lot easier and a lot, it's a lot more simplified than what I was trying to do before. I'm sorry if I confused anybody on that. Um, that was a mistake on my part. I didn't know any better. Um, putting these boards together, like I said, I'm kind of new to these things too. I've been working with them for about a year and a half now. And... Um, it's something I learned and it was a good lesson. So <laughs> hopefully uh, maybe you learned something in the video anyways, but I don't know. But anyways, guys, I'm going to zoom down. I'm going to go over the board. It's real simple, real straightforward, real easy to wire up. Um, guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like the video, give me a like. And if you like it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, so this is really simple. Um, I'm just going to go through it, right, walk you through it right quick and show you how um, easy this is to do this way instead of me trying like I was trying to overcomplicate it in the other video um, basically I've got this is coming this these two wires are here is coming directly from my power supply um, I am going to put a fuse here I just I've ordered some but they haven't I haven't gotten them yet but I want to put a one out fuse between this wire and this terminal right here so basically it'll come in go through the fuse and then come in right here now, to power these nano boards, all I've done is, is where this comes in, this is jumped across right down here on the back side, and it comes to this red wire and goes straight to voltage in right here. And then I've taken another wire and soldered them together underneath here and jumped it across here to this voltage in on this board. So the 12 volts is basically coming in and going directly to both boards right here. Ground's doing the exact same thing. It's coming out and going to the ground pin. And then it's jumping over here and going to the ground pin on this one. Now just make sure you're not hooking into the 5 volts on these. Just make sure you're hooking in the voltage in pins because they, they, these are the ones that can regulate it down to what voltage these boards are needing. And like I said previous, you can go up, I think it's from, uh, I think it's 4 to 14 volts, I believe. It might be 7 to 14. I can't remember exactly right here what it is. I'll look it up and put it in the description. But you can put up to 14 volts on this voltage in pin and these boards will work with no, no issues. Now, as far as the board, all these other wires are going to my counter, are going to my uh, display. And I've got that. I think that's in the first video that I did on this where I show how to hook all that stuff up. And then these two, two blue wires are going, coming from my switch. And they, one switch is controlling both boards. So it's just sending uh, the switch power to both boards. Now as far as... That's it on the uh, nano boards. That's all I've done to them. Now as far as this right here, all I've got to do... All I've done is, is I've jumped this 12 volts here, coming in here, directly across to right here. So I've just got a wire going from here to here. Same thing with the ground, here to here. All right. Now the only other thing I've got to do on these boards that I haven't done yet is I've got to put a reset on these boards. And it's really simple to do. See this RST pin right here? I'm going to bring a wire out of it, go through like a momentary switch. Or when you press it. It's just like this switch here, when you press it and you release it, releases the switch. Because that's that's the reset. Um, it's going to come out of here, out of the reset, go through a momentary switch, and then go straight to ground. And so that way I can have an external switch on the outside of the pickup monitor to reset the counter if I want to. So I can just hit it instead of having to reach inside the box and hit that button there. So that's very simple too. And like I said, go from reset through a switch back to ground. Now, I've got this power jumped over here to this this comes out and goes directly to my speed controller so I've got the purple which is the 12 volts comes in and goes to power plus right here and then the brown comes around and goes to power negative because that's my negative over here and then so that's powered now it comes out here positive negative on the motor doesn't matter on the switch you can put you can switch these however you want to because this is a polarity switch. You can reverse it or however you want to do it. 
and then it comes out of this switch and goes directly to my motor. Now these other wires right here go to the potentiometer that's on that come with the board. So it's just wired just like that. And that's basically it. There's if you have any questions about any of this stuff or um, any comments, please let me know. Um, send me an email or write them in the comments down below. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like. If you like it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.